This is part two of subtracting fractions um, by renaming. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, um, this time I have um, five and three eighths minus two and three-fourths, okay? Now, um, what I need to do, I'm, I'm going to do um, the same process that I used last time, because I don't want to, once, once you learn something, it's best to, to know to keep that process going and then add maybe one more step okay so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to change this 5 and 3 eighths into an improper fraction and this 2 and 3 fourths into an improper fraction okay um, so you have um, 5 and 3 eighths equals 8 times 5 plus 3 8 times 5 plus 3 8 times 5 is 40, plus 3 is 43, over 8. And um, I'm going to rename 2 and 3 fourths into 4, and on the button denominator, and 2, sorry, 4 times 2 plus 3. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Okay. So now I'm going to write 43 eighths equals 11, and this equals 11 fourths. So I just renamed them, okay? So now, before we, we had a new denominator, once we did this process, we had the same denominator. But if you notice, we still have different denominators. Well, we're going to same that, use that same process that we used before in getting a new denominator, okay? So, I'm going to list my multiples of 4 and 8. 4, 8, 12, 16, 8, 16, 24. Well, what do they have in common? multiples they have 8 in common and they have 16 in common and they have some more numbers in common but we're looking for the least the least common multiple that they sh that they have in common the least common multiple okay and that's going to be our 8 and that's our new denominator 8 is our new denominator okay now I'm going to say just like before, 8 times 1 is 8. 43 times 1 is 43. Now I'm going to say 4 times 2 is 8, and 11 times 2 is 22. So now that I have now that I have a the same denominator, now I can subtract. Okay? So I have 43. Have 43 minus 22, which will give me 21 and keep keep my eights. 21 eights. I know that this is an improper fraction, so I need to change that to a mixed number. So I'm going to divide 21 divided by 8. 8 goes into 21 um, two times. That's 16. And that's going to give me subtract 5. It's going to be 5. Okay. So my final answer is going to be 2 and 5 eighths. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. That's my denominator. I tell students go around the clock. Go around the clock. 
You gotta stop here. You gotta stop here. This is your starting point right here. All right. So this is your final answer. All right. And and what we did instead of borrowing borrowing from this whole number over here, in which everyone gets confused, we just use the same steps that we used before instead of in, instead of introducing another step. Okay, another new step. In the previous videos, we talked about changing um, mixed numbers into improper fractions. You know how to do that, so let's do it. And that's what we did. We changed our mixed numbers into improper fractions. Well, in our previous videos, we talked about getting a common denominator, finding the num common denominator. And that's what we did in the past. So let's continue to do the same thing since we know how to do it. So we're going to write our multiples out. And we're going to find our least common multiple. Then we're going to subtract. And, and also, we also learned that this, since this is an improper fraction, we know we can go through this process to write it as a mixed number. All right? Let's do another one. Okay. Eight and one fourth minus four and two thirds. Let's use the same processes that we've used before. There's no need in doing something new. Okay. Um. So um, let's. We're going to change this eight and one fourth into a into an improper fraction. The denominator is going to be four. We're going to bring that over. Four times eight plus one. Four times eight is thirty-two. Plus one will give you um, thirty-three. Over two. All right. Um, then we're going to take the four and two thirds and we're going to change that into an improper fraction. Bring your three over. That's going to be three times four plus two. So that's going to give you three times four is twelve plus two is fourteen thirds. So we did what we know how to do. We've changed our mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay. Now that we no longer have improper fractions, we can find our new common denominator because we still can't subtract because our denominators are not the same. Okay, so I'm going to list my multiples for 2 and 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so forth. Then I have 3, 6, 9, and so forth. Well. What do they have in common? They have a 6 in common. So 6 is going to be our new denominator. All right. So now I need to find my new numerator. 2 times 3 is 6. And 33 times 3 will give you... Uh, 99. Okay. 3 times 2 is 6, and 14 times 2 is 28. Now that we have the same denominators, now that we have the same denominators of 6, we have the same denominator, we can now subtract. So 99 minus 28 is going to give you 71 over 6. 71 over 6. Well, let's see. We need to divide 71 divided by 6. So we, need, we have an improper fraction, so we need to divide. 6 goes into 7 one time. Subtract. Bring down your 1. 6 goes into 11 um, one time. That's 5. Here's your whole number. Here's your numerator. Here's your denominator. So, instead of writing 71, 6, we can write 
11 and 5, 6. 11, 5 in my numerator, 6 in my denominator. So this is my final answer right here. All right? And now I want you to try one. Let's do, um, let's do this one. Six and two-fourths minus two and four-fifths. If you'll please pause your video while you work that problem and turn it back on when you're ready. Okay. Uh, we need to change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. I hope you did that. So 6 and 2 fourths equals 4 in the denominator, 4 times 6 plus 2. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26. And 2 and 4 fifths equals 5 times 2 plus 4. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14 fifths. All right. So now we can write, we've, we've changed our mixed numbers into improper fractions. That's going to be 26 fourths, and this is going to be 14 fifths. Okay? All right. Now that I um, no longer have a a mixed number, they're improper fractions. I've changed my mixed numbers into improper fractions. So now I still can't subtract because I need to get a common denominator. Okay? And we know from previous videos that um, when you need to get a common denominator, you need to list your multiples. So my multiples of 4 is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. My multiples of 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And they go on and on and on, okay? Well, what multiples do they share? They share 20, and they share some more down here, but we didn't have to list those. So the least common multiple, the smallest multiple that they share is a 20. So that's going to be our new denominator. So now I need to find my, I need to find my new numerator. So to multiply 4 times 5, 4 times 5 is 20. So 26 times 5, whoa. 26. 26 times 5 is 130. 130. Should have known that. Okay. All right. And uh, we're going to multiply 5 times 4 would give me 20. And so 14 times 4, 14 times 4 will give me 56. All right. Now that I have the same denominator, now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to subtract my numerators. 130 minus 56. 130 minus 56 is going to give me 74 over 20. I'm going to bring my new denominator down. Okay. This is an improper fraction. Why is it an improper fraction? because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So I'm going to go over here, 74 divided by 20. 20 we're going to 74 three times. 3 times 20 is 60. So that's going to be 14. So here's my whole number. Oops. Here's my numerator. Here's my denominator. So this is going to equal 3 and 
14 twentieths. Hmm. Well, I've changed it from an improper fraction to a mixed number. But as I look at this 14 twentieths, I know that since both of them are even, I know they share a common factor. Okay? So, I'm going to list my factors for 14 and for 20. 1 times 14, 2 times 7. For 20, I have... For 20, I have... Um, 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Well, um, what factors do they have in common? They share 1, they share 2, and that's it. So, but what is the greatest common factor that they share? And that's going to be 2. So I now know that I can divide the 14 twentieths by 2, by 2 over 2. So I'm going to write 3 and 14 twentieths. I'm going to bring my 3 over. And a lot of people forget that 3 for some reason. They forget the 3. Make sure you bring that 3 over. And I'm going to divide the numerator by 2 and my denominator by 2. And that's going to give me 14 divided by 2 is 7 and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So my final answer is right here. Okay. I know all this seems like it's a lot of work. Um, uh, however, you need to decide whether you're going to get the problem right or whether you're going to get the where you want to miss the problem. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on borrowing um, instead of renaming, but um, I think I'll do that next. Um, but if you'd like to see more videos, um, please visit um, mathwithmoon.org and leave your comments and email me. All right. I'll have a great day. You have a great day. Bye.